Alright guys, we have Dale here. Dale, one of our technicians, and we have one of the Herald's cars. Uh, we had a previous vlog where Dale was doing all the SPL suspension components yep. on this car. Uh, we haven't really talked about the car since then, but there's a lot of footage over the past few months that we haven't shown yet, so I think we need to take a trip back in the future. Hit it. Back in the past. Future past. Back in the future. Back, back to the future. We're going. Okay. Bye. Bye. Dale is currently working on the Cyvex. Yeah, so what we have here is a Cyvex jumper harness to go from the S7 ECU to the factory 2020 GTR uh, engine harness. This is actually a development kit. But what we're doing right now is we're just kind of eliminating, well, what I'm actually doing right now is covering up all of these unused uh, wires, just from eliminating some stuff that we're not using or reutilizing it to run other things. So we've got a GPS module that'll get pinned out on this. That's for, um, you know, some traction control strategies, things like that. We have boost control, intake air temp sensors, um, sensors that allow the transmission to shift on its own again, secondary injection since these cars are running uh, dual injectors. So yeah, it's pretty much what I'm doing. Uh, it's just a lot of tedious wiring, getting 12 volt sent where 12 volt needs to be. Yep. So Cyvex S7, it's actually really light. This is nice though, it's full aluminum. Yeah, it's got a full aluminum case. I don't know. I would assume that it's somewhat waterproof considering the plugs that it uses. Don't quote me on that. That's um, possible, yeah, who knows. Definitely could withstand some water, maybe not dipped in water, but I'm just gonna cover up some of these loose wires with some heat shrink just in case there's still any signal or power getting run through the factory harness. And then uh, we'll get to pinning these out. previous vlog uh, we did the full SPL suspension system on this car bushings arms all adjustable components and we explained the the gains or the pros and cons of those uh, components especially in a car like this but since then we have finalized the powertrain in the car um, obviously you can see the, the carbon fiber alpha intake manifold and and all of its components but uh, yeah we got front bumpers on we're just waiting on to get to some wheels mounted up cars actually have two sets of wheels a really really nice set of t37 and then our alpha x drag race wheels with a uh a radial on them just for when we, we do debut these cars at the track um aside from that since then we did get the interior trimmed in oh yeah because we got the cages yeah so these too. customers yeah. wanted uh the safest possible car so we went ahead and did a full cage in the car um and then they also wanted to re retain a lot of the street car aspects of it so this car has full interior full hvac uh almost everything actually primarily everything that was uh, factory in the car is still in the car so your radio you know your stock seats everything's in there so uh, let's remind uh, for those who may have not seen the last video what's the package that's actually on this car so this is an 18x kit with the dual brushless fuel systems um, secondary injection this is as wild as we would go with a dual purpose car for some <laughs> there you um, go. yeah aside from that it's it's looking really good. We have the chute mounts done. 
I believe, yeah, we do have the, uh, we do have a, a removable chute handle. Everything went really smooth, went ahead and, you know, did our oil change and, and all the normal stuff. And car made really, really good power. I think we're limited by injector right now, which is fine. The, mm -hmm. the heralds need to get a little bit of seat time in the cars, I think, before we turn them up and see what they can really do. Mm -hmm. But uh, this made about 14. It's like mid 14s, yeah, just under 1500 horsepower uh, on the 18X kit. So we got a little bit of room to grow again. Yeah, nothing to sneeze at here. Yeah, sure. yeah, I mean, we're still on stock. They're auto bodies. Super happy with the way these cars are coming out. So I think that's all that's left. I was talking with Alex. Uh, well, the shoe cable's now in, so it just needs a passenger seat to go in. Hi, Peter. Thank you for that. Passenger seat needs to go in, I think under trays. Yeah, we're just waiting to finalize the interior until we're for sure done with tuning. Uh, just gives them a little bit of room to work, especially in the ECU area. True. All of that kind of stuff. It's just it gets a little tight in there, especially with the cage, mm -hmm. if both seats and full full interiors in the car. So, yeah. So this has uh, been a project. I mean, this, both of these cars were pretty much. Brand, we talked about this in the SPL video that we did. That these cars are pretty much like brand new. We were talking about how nice it was for you to actually work yeah, on these things. Yeah, they're super nice to work on because <laughs> they, everything I think is clean. Combined, they had like 200 miles. Yeah, them. so pretty pretty low. Tim's car is going to be on the dyno for break in and power pulls. We're looking to make the same amount of power. Um, they're pretty, pretty soon. Pretty I think much we just identical have, uh, builds, right? Yeah, they're all, they are identical. They are identical. On, on paper, they're identical. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Well, uh, good work on this build, man. Thanks. Super man. clean. Looks amazing. Makes some serious horsepower already. And then also, just to let you guys know, both of these cars, we will be debuting them. We don't know exactly when or where, or, but you guys will eventually see both of these cars uh, at a strip sometime on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And appreciate it, man. All right. So everybody at work. Decided to do a group buy and go out and get some toys for after work. And uh, everybody bought pit bikes. Paul, what are you doing? One ten? One ten? <laughs> Might be the one ten, baby. <laughs> <Stop. Stop. laughs> he's getting one ten too. No, yeah. no he's seventy first kid. Yeah. One ten. So you can be like. Uh, Cowboy stunts back there? Yeah, yeah. We're back. Whiskey throttle right out the road. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, Ricky? On a pit bike. Where are you at? Have good performance. Fourth, man. It's a great place to be. Yeah. Don't were you number money. three uh, in a group yeah. of six? Yeah, three out of six. Oh. We're halfway there. Yeah. All right. What'd you get? 72cc SSR pit bike, nice. semi-auto, so my lady can learn to ride in orange. Nice. The fastest color. Yes. <laughs> it's basically right. a KTM. We're gonna do a video of all of them in the back of my truck later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today's vlog. We're gonna be joining Alex here next week. He's gonna be working on Angela's GTR. A pretty cool build, oh, yeah. uh, so we're gonna go over that. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed the little pit bike montage. We've been having quite a bit of fun. <sighs> Ripping it. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one.